Let's spend a few minutes talking about the course requirements. First, you're going to have some online homework. That is through the program My Lab Math, and I'll show you how to get into that program shortly. But the online homework, you're going to find it challenging. This is going to be where you probably work your hardest because some of these questions can be difficult. Some are very easy. But anyway, that's going to be 20% of your final average. Now, the good thing about the homework is you can continue to work on a problem until you get it right. So say, for example, you have a problem to do and you miss it two or three times and it says, hey, this is your final attempt. Even if you miss it for your final attempt, you can pick a similar question and keep trying. So what's the point? You can make a 100% on every homework, okay? Get the help you need, you'll make 100%. Module assignments, you're gonna have one assignment per module. There are four modules in the class. The module assignments are very hands-on. And again, that's gonna be 20% of your final average. You'll have module tests. So we're going to have four module tests, and that's going to count 60% of your final average, but included in the module test average is your final exam. So you're going to have a final exam that you're going to take on campus, or you're going to schedule with a proctor, and that's going to count within that 60%. So you're really going to have five tests in this course, online homework for each section, and one module assignment for each of four modules, and that's going to be your entire grade in the course. What about late work? Well, hopefully you're not going to turn in any work late, but just in case, because it happens. The online homework can be turned in late up until the end of the semester, and it's a 50% penalty for all incomplete problems. So say you have a homework section done and you, you have them all done, but say two problems. If you work on those two problems after the due date, I'll just count half off only on those two problems. If you don't do an entire section and you want to do it late, because late is way better than zero, then you'll get 50% off the whole assignment okay but they stay open until the end of the semester also you can turn in a module assignment late it'll be 10 percentage points for each day the work is late so you can do the do the math that'll be up to 10 days because once we get to 10 days late i've already taken off 10 percent each day therefore you don't have any room left to turn it in late but just in case you find yourself in a bind then you can turn those in late, and maybe it'll only be a day late, which means you can make up to a 90% on it. Same thing with the test. I do allow you to take a test late, but it'll be 10 percentage points each day the test is late, and you'll have to contact me about taking the test late. And then finally, the final exam, you can't take that late. It's the last day of class anyway, so no late final exams. If you have an emergency, that's where an incomplete could possibly come into play. What about attendance for the course? Well, attendance verification is due early in the semester. So usually the first couple of days of class in a summer semester, please complete the required syllabus quiz that's located in the start here menu. I'll show you that shortly by the due date to count as an attendance for the first day of class. You must complete the required syllabus quiz and hopefully this course orientation will tell you everything you need to know to successfully complete that quiz. You must make a hundred on it before you move on to the first module. Now, what about attendance? Well, failure to complete the required syllabus quiz may result in you being withdrawn from the course. So please get that done. Again, what about attendance? Here we go. Attendance during the semester will be based on deadlines. This is an online class. Does that mean attendance doesn't count? Absolutely not. Attendance counts in every class, including online classes. How do I know if you're not attending? You're not doing your work. So if you have six missed deadlines, that could result in administratively withdrawal from the class. Now, I may not do that. That is, that is up to my discretion, but please don't miss six deadlines, right? If you do, then you're not doing well in the course and you need to drop it anyway. But don't count on me to drop it for you. That's something you're going to need to do yourself. If a student earns an F, what if you earn an F? Then the last day of attendance will be based on the last date of graded work. Not the last time you logged into Canvas, y'all, but the last time you did work in the course. 
The last thing I want to tell you about in this video is working with My Lab Math. Okay, that's the program that we're going to use to do homework and some testing. Okay, so My Lab Math. My Lab Math is an online program created by Pearson Publishing based on a particular textbook. So it's the textbook you use in the course. It includes online homework with supplemental tutorials and help. An e-textbook, so that is part of the package. When you purchase the access code, there's an e-textbook, there's review material, and there's also tests included in My Lab Math. So homework, review, textbook, test, all included in My Lab Math. So you have to purchase this code. One of the most desirable benefits of using My Lab Math for homework assignments is the instant feedback. You don't have to turn it in and I take the time to grade it and get back to you. You get instant feedback. You get helpful hints. You can do help me solve this and the ability to redo a problem type anytime, any until it is correct. Okay. So again, I think I mentioned this previously, but if you miss a problem, you have a few chances to get it right. Even if you miss it a final time, you can pick a similar problem and work on it again until you master it. So there's no reason you can't make 100% on every homework. Now, how do you get logged into My Lab Math? Well, you've got two options for purchasing the code. You can purchase it through the LBWCC bookstore or you can purchase it online. And if you decide to purchase it online, and I'm not knocking the bookstore, y'all, but I just want you to know that purchasing online is cheaper. Right now, it's $74.99 plus tax to purchase it online. The bookstore charges a surcharge. How do you purchase it online? Well, the first thing you do is you go to My Lab and Mastering, okay? And actually, even before you do that, let's back up. I want you to watch a video. So go to Modules. Let me get rid of my circle here. I want you to go to modules, the modules page. When you do, it's going to look very similar to this. And I want you to click under books, how to register for your course in Canvas. It's a very short video that I want you to watch. The page the video shows up on looks like this. It says how to register for your course with Canvas. Watch that two, three minute video. It'll tell you exactly what to do. Okay. Um, after you watch the video, you're going to know what to do, but you need to click on My Lab and Mastering. That's the, the tool I circled earlier in your course. Click on My Lab and Mastering. Okay, that's going to take you to a page that you create an account, just like they suggested, and you're going to purchase the code. Now, keep in mind, you can purchase a code 14 days from now, or you can purchase it today. They have a free courtesy access. More on that in a minute. Okay. So what I need you to know is if you purchase an access code from the bookstore, do not follow the directions listed on the My Lab Math access code. Why? Because it doesn't go through Canvas. If you're asked to enter a course ID, then you haven't done it the correct way. You have to go through Canvas. And let me click back on that link. And it's my lab and mastering to get started. If you don't do it that way, then it's going to ask you for a course ID, but I don't have that for you because you're supposed to go through Canvas. Okay. Something else I need you to know is if you are not prepared to purchase the access code today, you may begin working immediately in my lab math by selecting the courtesy access located at the bottom of the purchase screen. This is a 14 day temporary access that terminates 14 days from the beginning of the course. Once that 14 days is up, you must purchase the access code to get back into your work. And I promise you, you need to be in your work because you have 20% of your grade is homework, another 60% is test, and all that goes through my lab math, or at least a, a huge majority of it goes through my lab math. One more thing I want to point out to you is testing, okay? What about testing? Well, there are going to be four module tests in this course. Online through My Lab Math. Part of your test is going to be online. Possib possibly part of it is going to be paper, paper and pencil question portions. So there's going to be two parts. Not every test is going to be this way, but most tests are probably going to be through online and then a paper and pencil portion. I reserved the right to change my mind on that. You can submit photos of your 
paper and pencil portion by the deadline. And then you're going to have a fifth test, which is a final exam. That thing is going to be proctored and on campus by appointment. Okay, so you can make an appointment. I'll be very open as to when you can come in and test, but the final exam is proctored and it is online. Okay, or not necessarily online, but proctored is on campus is what I'm trying to say. Now come back for a third part of the video. It's going to tell you all about navigating the course.